I suppose in introducing this event, I've just got one key message. We have a strategy for harnessing technology for learning. Uh, we have an increasingly convincing evidence base that when we do that, uh, we deliver really positive outcomes for young people. But there's absolutely nothing more important to that strategy uh, than what we're talking about today. It is the foundation on which everything else has to be built. Um, our stakeholders, parents, learners and others, on the whole, are very positive about the potential of technology for their young people, uh, to help young people in the modern world. But that confidence is built on our ability, our shared responsibility for managing the risks and enabling those young people to realise the benefits. When we started our e-safety work, I used to hear things back to me all the time like, e-safety, oh yes, we've bought such and such a bit of software, so we've dealt with e-safety. And people would talk about e-safety solutions, as if you buy some bit of software that solves e-safety. And there was that sense that that's what e-safety was all about. It was all about making sure that whatever anyone did at home, they didn't see any pornographic images while they were in our school, so it's not our fault. That was common currency a few years ago, wasn't it? That sort of perspective. And I think the lead from Bechter and other things have really helped to turn that round. But I know that for us locally, the focus on the rights of the child, the rights of the young person, has really helped to draw a distinction. Because a typical school's acceptable user policy, many that I've seen, are as much about protecting the computer from the child as they are about protecting the child while they're on the computer. Now, yes, of course, you need to protect your computers from viruses and protect your bandwidth and all this sort of stuff. But that is just about as sensible as tying together the Green Cross code with something about highway maintenance. You've got to keep yourself updated. Every week it seems there's something new isn't there? there's a new technology there's a new app if you like for an iphone it's keeping yourself updated and making sure that you're moving ahead with that all the time and if you do have procedures in place revise them regularly don't just think they're okay we wrote those two years ago when we got byron when we got the Bechter toolkit don't leave it at that revise them regularly and have a look at where you're at with them <laughs> Um, but I think the biggest challenge is actually getting um, parents there to start with. Because I'm sure we all encounter, well, it doesn't really apply to me. But then you go around, and actually, in one of the st stands today, SEOC were there, and they've got this badge. And uh, the challenge I throw out to people is that now you're going to be an ambassador for internet safety and go out there and spread the word. And I thought, well, I can get a load of these badges so I can deputise everybody. <laughs> and it's got, it's got the abuse button on. I thought, how, what a brilliant idea. I just think at the moment what, what we're finding in the schools that we're working in is that Facebook is, is the big thing yeah. and, and that I feel is because the adults understand it and when you listen to the young people that spoke it's not about Facebook, it's about everything else and I think at the moment we as adults are just sort of tuning into what we are we personally understand and understand those risks so at the moment Facebook is a big issue I don't think that is the case if we if you listen to those young people Facebook is not the issue there are wider issues but everywhere you go people talk about Facebook and their lack of understanding and they don't know what they can they can access so that's half the time like the new technology a lot of parents don't know that your Nintendo DS you give your children can be opened, your Wii could be opened, your Xbox could be opened. And we, we're fortunate and we have something called the Warsaw Street Teams and we very much now are looking at the preventative but they're working with us and they're starting to bring in what do you do when it goes wrong. Yeah. And in actual fact as part of the internet safety thing we're doing that with something that we're running across the whole of Warsaw tomorrow. The rights versus rules I think is pivotal to the way forward in the 21st century learning. A child's rights to use the internet safely but with creativity is, is, is crucial to succeed. I think the most important thing that's come up today is the, the challenge from the, from the youngsters. We've, we've got to really stop thinking about um, protecting children, putting them in cotton wool. We've got to really look very, very carefully now at the balance between 
safeguarding our children, keeping them safe, at the same time giving them some safe boundaries in which they can explore and they can learn for themselves. We, we can't just cost at them. We have to trust them, we have to listen to them, and we have to give them a bit more freedom than we've done up till now. I've had a really good day today. I've enjoyed listening to all the different speakers. I think it's been terrific the way that we managed to pack in so many different perspectives, uh, you know, national ones, local ones, individual ones, uh, all the different agencies, the young people themselves. Uh, and, and so for me, with the team that I work with, uh, we're going to follow this up. In fact, we've got a team meeting tomorrow, so I'm going to, and all my team have been here uh, facilitating, so I want to ask them uh, what their sort of takeaway items are, and I'm sure there'll be plenty.